Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to see how to run scheduled recurring jobs in Linux using cron. So this is our Linux quickest series. So we'll cover in this series anything which we can uh, do in 7 minutes or less in Linux, right? So cron is basically a daemon which is used for running a recurring job in Linux. So let's first look at the man page for the cron. And we are on the time here so we will be very quick. So you can see cron d daemon to execute scheduled commands. Cron is started from this, 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 and this is not very important. Let's go down. So the thing which is important is this file, etc cron tab, which is basically uh, used by cron daemon to read the crons or read the commands which will be run. Uh, nowadays you can see that this file is empty uh, by default. So I mean either you can put your cron in this. Uh, file or you can create separate files uh, in cron etc cron so etc cron d directory basically contains crons for different users so you can see it says that the directory that contains system cron job stored for different users and where spool cron contains the cron table so when you create a cron for a user a cron table is created uh, for that and you can you view that using the cron tab command so uh, I think in the man page these are the only important information let's just quickly get out of it and let's create our first cron okay so to create that the command which we are going to use is cron tab and hyphen e option we will use to edit our root users cron right so let's edit it and you can see this is the format of cron so first is minute hours day of the month uh, day of the month month and day of the week all right so what i am going to do is i'm going to do a very simple cron uh, it will be star 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 so minutes, see minutes every minute, every hour, every day of the month, every month, and every day of the week. And what I'm going to do is simply echo, echo, hello, hello. That's it. That's my cron. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's exit out. Save and quit and you can say it says installing new cron tabs right so it has installed a new cron tab to view this cron tab you can do cron tab hyphen l so you can see you can <coughs> you can view your cron tab right uh, to so this cron tab is basically running every minute because uh, for minutes are days of month month and day of the week i've put star so if I wanted to run at a, any particular day or any particular time, I would have put a number. So I'll show you how you can do that. But this cron is running every minute of the every day and every month and like every year, right? So this will run every minute. So to view, uh, to be, I mean, to make sure that this is running, let's do a tail on slash where log cron. So you can see that it has already run once, right? Echo hello, it has run. So if we wait another minute, you would see the log would appear again that it has run and again. <coughs> so let's just wait. So you can see this has come. All right, so let's quickly get rid of this. Let me clear my screen. And next what I wanted to show you is man5 cron tab which has some really good things about cron this uh, man page so this you can see man cron tab basically file used to schedule the execution of program so this is what this is the file which we used and let's quickly go down uh, important part which i wanted to show you is this the fields so if you i mean ever get lost you don't know what cron tab fields look like you can always refer to this man page so minutes hours day of the month month and day of the week <coughs> and let's quickly go down to see an example how to do run it for a particular time like we did it for every minute right 
but suppose you want to run five minutes after midnight every day so you can see five zero represent the midnight and then every day is represented by three asterisks and then the command right so this is how you run so this is actually a very good page to refer if you ever want to run a particular thing at a particular time like this one run at 2 15 pm on the first day of every month so you can say minutes is 15 time is set to 14 in 24 hour clocks is 2 and the day of the month is first and then every month is like star and star all right let's go down and see few extensions which are also very useful like this uh, at reboot so uh, every time i mean cron is basically cron basically assumes that your system is up and running all the time right so if your system is down during the time which for which the cron has to run your cron would not be executed it would not be run so suppose if you want uh, to have a cron that executes immediately after reboot you can just put add the reboot in front of it and it will run ev after every reboot right similarly if you want to run a, a cron just yearly you can just run it every year so you can see it has also given the format here monthly weekly and same case like every like this right you can just go through this document to see let's just exit out let's go to slash etc directory and l do an ls hyphen l on cron star so you can see there are few files like cron.deny cron.allow so i mean there are two files basically to control uh, access control uh, so suppose if you want to deny uh, a user that it can he cannot create cron you can do it using the these access control files uh, cron.deny and cron.allow right so there are two files something similar to the host etc host.allow and host.deny files right so they are pretty similar uh, then we have a few directories cron.daily cron.hourly cron.monthly so in if you put any file in these directories so cron.daily would execute it daily uh, cron.hourly would execute it hourly cron.monthly would execute it monthly and cron.weekly would execute it weekly just like the name suggests so if you want i mean if you want to have them executed at this uh, every day uh, then you can put so you can see that we have a log rotate file in cron.daily which basically rotates our logs every day so i think yeah this is it for this video guys this was just a quickie in linux uh, how you can schedule your jobs in linux uh, using cron i hope you liked it please do subscribe to the channel before going and thank you for watching